Hey, good morning, guys. It's Greg with Ideal Trading Ideas. And as you can see, we have Lipozine up on the screen, pharmaceutical company based out of Utah, right? So the current price is $1.39, and we're up one cent for the day or yesterday, positive 0.72%. And we haven't did anything after hours. It hasn't went up or went down. We're going to go ahead and go over the charts. One week chart up positive 13 cent or positive 10.32% over the past week. One month chart down 4 cent or negative 2.80% over the past month. Three month chart down 41 cent or negative 22.78% over the past three months. One year chart down or up 46 uh, cent or positive 49.48% over the past year. And the five year chart down $6.26 or negative 81.83% over the past five years. We're we'll gonna go ahead and scroll down and show you where I'm in at. My average cost is $1.65. Obviously your price is $1.39 right now, so we are down. We have a total of 300 shares that we own and it's 5.54% of our portfolio diversity. Our market value right now is $417. Today's return is positive three dollars or positive 0.72 percent and our total return is negative 78 dollars or negative 15.76 percent so remember what i told you guys in the beginning um videos and videos and videos ago that hey if you just bought these things straight out at 165 and you didn't do any option trading whether it be covered calls or cash or cut, uh, secured puts you would be down 78 dollars right but because i do cash secured puts and cover call options and so on and so forth i collect premiums during these different months to make sure that i'm not going to be down 78 dollars like some other people may be right depending on what price they got in it so as you can see we have options three contracts are up right now what i'm going to do is go ahead and click on this particular option contract and kind of show you guys what's going on our average cost right now average credit per share was 15 cent right so lpc and break even 165 we had three contracts out there and the expiration date is today 521 so the credit that we received was 45 dollars up front and what this negative three means is if we sell we would, uh, or if we buy the close which is right here we would have to pay out three dollars so and negative three dollars and we would we would continue to hold on to 42 dollars of the 45 that they gave us or positive 93.33 percent now are we going to do that are we going to pay this three dollars out the answer is no today this contract expires or these three contracts expire and what we're going to do is let it expire worthless right so when it expires worthless we just hold on to the, the entire premium that they paid us in the very beginning so that's what we're going to do now if we kind of scroll down uh, what i'm going to do actually is i'm going to go back and go through my history to kind of show you guys what we collected right so we have history right here i have to put on show more to show you even more but april 19th we decided that we were willing to sell at a dollar 50 and it expires 521 right three contracts 15 cent per share remember they gave us 45 dollars up front and then we did another one on March 23rd. We were willing to sell at $2. 416 was the expiration date or April 16th. And we were willing to do another three contracts, nine cent per share or $27 up front. When we pull the calculator out, clear that out, we're gonna go $45 plus $27. Means that we've collected $72 right now. Remember, we're negative $78 on those shares that we have with 300 shares that we have and what we're going to do is just minus out 78 dollars that puts us actually at a negative six so instead of being negative 78 we'll go ahead and cancel the calculator out instead of actually being negative 78 dollars right here we're actually negative six because you're going to want to use those premiums paid to kind of average yourself down now why doesn't it show on Robinhood? well they just don't add in the premiums that they're paying you because you can do whatever you want to do with those premium those premiums once you receive them right so it's up to you to kind of set up a spreadsheet for yourself to keep track of the premiums that you receive and whether or not you want to average those things down so this is something that i always do for myself so this is one of my spreadsheets as you can see we have liposine right here 300 shares original cost 165 total cost was 495 dollars i have the current status active just because we still own those shares. And it's showing you that, hey, March, we collected 
nine cent in premium or $27 off the 300 shares or 5.45%. April, we collected 15 cent or $45 and the percentage was 9.09%, .09%, right? So these are my percentages for the month based off of what I spent, right? And then May, obviously we're about to do this contract um, for the month of June, but we're gonna get paid in May. That's gonna be 13 cent at the 300 shares. That's gonna be $39 up front or 7.88%. When you add those all together, we come up with 22.42% over the past basically three months of this deal, right? 22.42% total, right? So if it just so happens that we sell off those shares for $1.50 in the month of June, obviously because the contract does not expire, uh, well, the next contract does not expire into June, then we would sell everything off for less than our total cost. Now, remember, our total cost is $4.95, and we'll pull the calculator out one more time, make sure it's clear. So if we sold everything for $1.50, right, and times it by three, that's gonna be $4.05 or $450, so it's 300 shares, right? So basically we'll just say dollar fifty times three four hundred and fifty dollars so four hundred and fifty dollars will be less than the total cost that we spent which is four ninety five but remember this we've added twenty seven forty five and thirty nine so you would say plus twenty seven plus forty five plus thirty nine which puts us at five hundred and sixty one dollars so with the money that we sold for plus all the money that we've made it puts us at 561 dollars of total profits which means the money we got from premiums and the money we, we got from selling the 300 shares off now when we minus that off from our total cost which is minus 495 it puts us at a positive $66. So once we minus out the full price that we paid for it, we still come off with $66 in profit. Yes, if it took us three months or two and a half months or whatever it's gonna be to, to make that money or to clear that money, that's fine. Um, but we still ended the shares positive. Got what I'm saying? So we still ended positive. Obviously, this is more money than that, but if it just happens to go uh, in a direction that we don't want it to go in, which means that we have, if we had to sell at 150, we would still come out the deal positive 66 dollars, right? So that's just one way the deal could happen. It's a possibility that it doesn't reach the dollar 50 range, and then we can go in the next month. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click back on our Robinhood account and show you how to do this particular trade, right? Click on Trade LPC and Options. And for the guy, for the for you guys who don't already own these shares, you can go in buy these shares at a dollar thirty nine if you want to, or you can put in for a limit buy and try to get them for even cheaper. I would try to get them for cheaper, right? So once you have purchased the shares, or if you already own the shares, you would just click on sell and make sure that you click on call, right? You would change the expiring date to June eighteenth. Click on that share price. And as you can see, what you're going to want to look at is the $1.50 strike price because they're not offering you anything in a premium for the $2 strike price, which is right here, right? So $1.50 strike price, they're willing to offer you $0.13 cent per share. So what you're going to want to do is click on the plus sign, $1.50 call or short call and total credit is going to be $0.10. Cent. You can click on continue. And for me, I will be putting in the number three because I'm wanting to do three contracts and then I would change this to point one three because I want to receive all the premiums that they're going to pay me which is a minimum credit of $39 you would click on review order in my case it's not going to go through because we don't have the shares available right now which is going to be on Monday we will and everything would go through and you will receive your $39 up front so right then you would get your $39, you would have your three contracts in play. So once again, for those of you who already own shares and let's say you're in at less than $1.50 um, or even at a dollar, whatever price you're in at, you're able to actually do this $1.50 contract. If you got in and you're down here, then you're even in for a better treat because you could sell for a dollar if you wanted to and collect more, or you could just sell for the $1.50 
and collect that 13 cent. Either way, you're gonna be uh, pretty good. So hopefully as time go on, I'm able to, to kind of average myself down even further. But hey, that's how you pretty much do this, this covered call um, option contract and to collect your premiums on a monthly basis. Obviously contract expires on June 18th. Can you go further out in the contracts? The answer to that question is yes. Um, you can obviously pick July, August, November. You can pick next year in January, so on and so forth, or even longer than that, January 20, 2023, right? So it's up to you and what you want to pick. Obviously, what we'll do is click on July, and as you can see, if you want to go two months out and go for the 150, they'll give you 23 cent um, in, in, in exchange, right, to, for selling that 150. If it makes it to 150 in that time frame, or you can go up to the two dollar, and they'll give you a dollar ten. Now. As we click on that, they don't, they don't have any volume or any open interest, so it's a possibility you're not going to be able to make that happen. I'm going to look into this one just in case, though, um, because, hey, I prefer to make even more money. We're going to look at that and see what happens. Um, so I'll try this one out before I try um, before I try my regular sale at, uh, at 150. So we're going to see if we can make something off this particular deal by July, right? So that's way more money than I would expect. But anyway, hopefully you guys learned something when, when dealing with your covered calls or even owning your shares that have possibly turned negative on you overall, right? Uh, by doing those covered call contracts for the shares that you currently own, you may be able to turn that into a positive win for yourself. And as you can see, that's what I do on a regular basis for the shares that have turned negative on me. So these last couple of videos have pretty much showed you where I've went negative on LPCN, I went negative on DNN or any other shares that I currently own and I do the cash secure puts or the cover call contracts in order to generate those premium incomes to put myself back in the positive and most of the time I don't have to sell those shares off because maybe they didn't go back up within that month time frame, right? So once I have collected those premiums, put myself down um, lower in terms of my new cost basis, I know that, hey, if I want to sell those shares off, I can and I will be in the positive overall. So once again, you guys have a great day. Um, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, hey, please drop me a note. Hey, have a great one. Goodbye.